Hi and welcome back. We are going to discuss in these next few videos injury repair by new connective tissue replacement. So let's just say I have a finger here. I got my fingernail here and I'm I'm cooking. I'm cooking and I'm cutting up some carrots and the knife happens to slice slice my finger. I chop my finger off. Chop finger blood's going to be swirling everywhere and depending on how bad it is I might go to the doctor I might not and we'll see um, you know we're going to talk about this process and what happens so within the you know th there's certain types of tissues that you've cut through you've cut through this fingernail here you've cut through the epithelial the skin you've cut through the muscle layer you might have gotten the bone you might have not you've got definitely got nerve endings that you cut through so in the case of nerves, and you can review video number 33, number 33 on the types of tissues. So every tissue has a certain um, regenerative or regenerative capability. Nerves, um, they don't divide, the um, cells don't divide, um, but the skin and this is kind of a continuum of the nerve. Cells don't divide at all or very, 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 very rarely. Skin um, uh, cells divide a lot. So these skin cells, so within 24 hours, you know, you're going to have the inflammation process. Leukocytes are going to come to the area, start trying to clean up some stuff. Um, then you're going to have fibroblasts fibroblasts are going to come to the area and they're going to start laying down um, all the in the previous videos all the 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 components of this you know new scar connective tissue that's going to be formed they're going to start laying down all those components and you can watch those last couple videos that we talked about that um, but they're going to lay down collagen and you know some other components. Uh, let me scroll down here. So they're gonna they're gonna start laying down these fibroblasts. Are gonna start laying down collagen, and they're gonna start start repair. And then within three to five days, um, there's gonna be a new tissue. A new tissue formed. Like in the case of the nerve, because the nerve doesn't divide, um, there's going to be both. There's going to be new, new like scar tissue for to fill in the place of the nerve, and there's going to be um, the skin cells are going to start, you know, multiplying again, trying to get back your finger. So in the case of you know your epithe your your skin cells here. In the last video, we talked about this a lot, but in the skin cells here, you have a basement membrane of the of the extracellular matrix, and then you have, let's say, this is a blood vessel, and then this is the ECM, extracellular matrix, and then you have this this scaffolding here, and this is all between all your cells. And these fibroblasts are going to start coming into here, and they're going to have to rebuild and remodel all of this new structure on a very micro, um, you know, view of things. They're going to have to remodel all of this, and that's a lot of a lot of remodeling that needs to happen. So in three to five days, you're going to start feel, you're going to start to see this new tissue type, and this is called granulation tissue. So, you know, in in this in the case of this of this finger here there's going to be kind of there's going to start to be this pinkish and i don't know if you've ever seen this like if you've ever had a scab or something and around the scab if you have um so this is a scab here scab and then around the scab you kind of have this when the scab starts to go shrink in shrink in shrink in you have this pinkish tissue here this pinkish tissue um, and then you have you know your skin here but it, your pinkish tissue here 
Um, this is called granulation tissue. And that appears three to five days after, after this new initial um, cut or wound, if you will. And so just think about the process. These fibroblasts have to have to rebuild all this extracellular matrix. These tissues have to regenerate. The basement membrane has to be reconstructed. If you chop this blood vessel, the blood vessel has to coagulate and then it has to, you know, build it back up and this is called angiogenesis. And that kind of brings us into our next topic. There's four different um, sequential steps. So there's four steps and they're sequential, meaning this happens first, you know, one, then two, and so on. And what are these steps? So what are the four steps? They are, one is the formation of the new blood vessels, and this is called angiogenesis. Two is the migration and proliferation of fibroblasts. Like we talked about, the fibroblasts are going to have to come in there. Then they're going to have to start, you know, multiplying so there can be more workers to, you know, fix the wound. Three is the deposition of the extracellular matrix or the scar formation. And then four is the maturation and reorganization of the fibrous tissue so that you gain, and this is trying to gain function. And we're going to talk about each one of these steps in detail. So we'll see you in the next video.